Jamar Chase last night became the first player in NFL history with three different games of 50 or more fantasy points in PPR scoring. He became the first player in NFL history to have multiple games of 260 or more receiving yards. He now has 12 career touchdowns of 50 or more yards that is tied for the second most by a player before turning 25 years old, Jay. It was the 21st best fantasy football game of all time. And here's what's crazy. It wasn't even his best fantasy performance of his career. As you remember uh, that game against uh, the Chiefs in 2022 in the fantasy playoffs, by the way, 266 and three on 11 receptions. 55.6 fantasy points last night against the Ravens was 55.4. So just the second best fantasy game of his career. By the way, proud fantasy life investor. We are, uh, I'm thrilled to be in business with the man. Uh, just want to get that out of the way. But uh, in all seriousness, unbelievable performance. Should have won. Bengals got boned. Yeah. The Bengals got boned. Yeah. I thought Zach Taylor was as bad as Jamar Chase was good last night. It's just like, picture Homer Simpson uh, in his nuclear power plant, and he yeah. has two buttons in front of him, right button and wrong button, and Zach Taylor all night just mashing the wrong button over and over again. What are you doing? What, what's happening with the timeout situation at the end? Yeah. Why are you going for two when there's 38 seconds left and the Ravens have right. two timeouts and you're incentivizing them to kick a field goal in that situation, even if you do get the two? What, like, why, if you're going to go for two, why is Chase Brown going out of bounds? Like, what, just nothing made sense. Why are you throwing did, deep? Did, on... did, did, did the exact Taylor called that when he would call the play, he said, hey, Chase, make sure you go out of bounds? Well, I, I mean, think that on. if you're a coach, you have your you team have to have them prepared. Yeah, to you know do. What I to agree. Do in that situation. Yeah, yeah, like, that's all that's the coaching fair. stuff. That's fair. Like, why are you throwing deep? on third and two and fourth and two earlier in the game like what what is going on Jamar yeah. Chase is open in the middle of the field so I just thought that they just completely butchered that game now they're underdogs to make the playoffs they should have won they're up 21-7 Chase Brown fumbles it was just a mess overall but Jamar Chase is the thing that I'll remember most from the game naturally no career highs for Jamar Chase in any category last night <laughs> nothing there so disappointing effort from him on that front but the first touchdown in particular when he just turns on the NOS like the great late Paul Walker did in Fast yeah. and Furious. He just zooms by everyone. Uh, it's quite a sight. So Jamar Chase is magnificent. Uh, the rest of his team was not. I, having said all that, even with That's a bad... Like I, no, I, I'm with you. Listen, I, I get I get all that. I think some of those criticisms are justified. I think there's a lot of criticisms that you can hurl at Zach Taylor that are justified. The way the team always starts slow year after year after year. And certainly there's some coaching decisions that I think in hindsight you consider and go like, eh, maybe not. Um... Uh, and I agree with you at the at the. I didn't mind going for two. I did mind going for two with that much time left. That's, that, the, problem. that's the That's the go issue. Go for two if there's 20 seconds left. Go for two. But you're, right. there's too much time for Lamar Jackson. Yes, and considering how well Lamar had moved the ball, considering they have Justin Tucker, considering they had the two timeouts, I, I'm I'm with you there. Having said all that, they should have gotten a real chance to go for two. Like, yeah. like, like there were four missed calls. I like you know be, like. That just brutal. There's too much at stake here. You know, even even before we get into like fantasy and sports betting, but like to your point, the Bengals. This is a game that that affects whether they make the playoffs or not. It's like, huge. They they would have had they had they won this game. They're a game. They own the tiebreaker of the Ravens, and they would have been one game out behind Baltimore. Now to your point, like it's four an uphill. Six. Now they're four and six, yeah. and they've got an uphill battle for them to get uh, into the playoffs. This is. But they got screwed there. I mean, like, it was a face mask on Joe Burrow. It was a face mask on two other offensive linemen. And it was a, um, a you know, and pass interference on Mike Kosicki. Like, there were four yeah. different opportunities on that play where you could have legitimately, right, you yes. could have legitimately thrown a flag, right? And the whole, like, there were five different times somebody could have thrown a flag and you'd go back in the replay and like, up, oh, good call. Yeah. 0 for 5. The refs were 0 for 5 on that yes. play. It just shows like, you they won't in that scenario. They won't throw the flag. Yeah. But that's not right. I agree. I know. And that's the problem. Just to bring it back and pin it on Zach Taylor again. Like, that's going to be part of the calculus. You're on the road. Like, you're less likely to get a call that goes that way. And, yes, it's not – like, it's more on the refs and they should have made the call. But, again, like, just another reason not to go for two in that kind of spot because you're going to get mugged. Now, the face thing of the – hitting the face mask on Joe Burrow, that's the one where, like – you just got to call that. Like, it was very obvious. Well, why aren't they His getting help on around. those? <laughs> yeah. What? Why aren't they getting help on yeah. those? Because we saw this with Sam Darnold. Why right. Well, the, 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 assist, I, like, I don't understand that. I don't understand. Is that the point? Yes. <laughs> that is, in theory, the point. Like, why I do not. It? I do not understand how and when replay assist is used. It feels very arbitrary. It feels like sometimes, boom, it immediately comes down. Right. And then other times they're just like, ah, you know, out to off. 
I don't understand. I don't understand it, and it's weird because we. I, I'm going to get myself in trouble because um, NBC is a partner of the NFL. I will just. I don't know. It's a. It's a. Um, it's it's mind boggling to me. It is mind boggling to me given the stakes that are involved and the amount of money that is involved in the NFL. The NFL is a multi billion dollar company, like multi 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 billion dollar company, and how you can't have and and we live in a world where technology allows us and you know devalued the whole guy it, 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 it does and guy. it was an unbelievable game from start to finish like it was amazing two of the stars two of the faces of the nfl going head to head in a division matchup like it's everything that fans want amazon had to have been thrilled like you know and al michael's alive and al well michael's like you're so excited. into it yeah like, yeah uh, finally again yeah, yeah 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 good for al michael al's yeah. all excited and you know and yeah. And then, right, and all everyone's going to be talking about, instead of the brilliance of Jamar Chase or the brilliance of Joe Burrow or the brilliance of Lamar Jackson in what is probably another MVP campaign, instead of the brilliance of that, we're talking about the fact that, right, they missed five calls. And, and by the way, that wasn't the only play. They missed calls throughout the game. And you have the technology. You have the ability to make those calls right. There's always going to be some human error, but they could be better. Yeah. They okay. could be better. Anyway, I... The fantasy impact here is, is um, uh, you know, I'm pouring one out for you. If, um, uh, you know, uh, if, you, uh, fa- if you woke up this morning and you realized that you were facing Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, Lamar Jackson, or some combination therein, I'm facing him in like about half my leagues. Some combination. Are. Oh, it's, of yes. course, of course. Even the leagues, like I have Joe Burrow in a handful of leagues. Like I look, I'm all excited. Facing like Jamar Chase in those leagues or somebody else had Lamar. Like, there's only, like, one league of all the leagues I have where I had Burrow and the other guy has uh, nothing. So, um, anyway, Jamar Chase is very good. Yeah, fortunately in our league, the League of Arsenal, so I have Joe Burrow going up yes. against producer Pete. Uh, and I have Burrow, but the bad news for me is that uh, he has Jalen Tolbert and Michael Pittman in his starting lineup. So, oh. uh, you know, you yeah. respect the yeah. And yeah. he currently has no one in his second running back slot. Uh, he's running empty on that one. So. That I'm going to see what pops up on <laughs> waivers on Saturday. That explains the group text of, uh, from Pete saying, I need a running back. <laughs> yes. um, that explains. And no uh, one wanting no to do one. business with him? No, no, he's, yeah. Pete actually disrespected me in that field. Yeah, he oh. tried sending me. Somebody for Tyrone Tracy. Like, I would ever trade Tyrone Tracy. Of course. Yeah. It's outrageous. Yeah. It just goes to show he doesn't watch the show. Uh, clearly not. Yeah. Why would I ever trade Tyrone Tracy? Yeah, of course. You would never. Like, he's been your guy since he was drafted. You yeah. love Tyrone Tracy. Yeah, I denied the trade immediately. Uh, I don't blame you. Oh, Dontavian I, Wicks. Uh, come on. Like, like, I don't sit <laughs> here and listen. should be on our waiver wire. Like, I don't <laughs> sit here and talk about fantasy football five days a week. Dontavian Wicks or Tyrone Tracy. No. Yes, it's I outed Pete's bad trade. Yes, you know I don't, I don't feel bad. So. I don't feel bad. Rightfully so. You know what, Pete? Next time, run that through the trade analyzer on <laughs> FantasyLife.com. That's Before what you should do, Pete. disrespecting me. Yeah, it's outrageous. Hey, it's Matthew Berry from NBCSports.com and RotorWorld.com, and I want to thank you so much for watching whatever it is you just watched, or if nothing else, being too lazy to click out of the autoplay after this video started, after whatever it is you actually wanted to watch finished. But now that you're here, I'd like to take a moment here to ask you respectfully, respectfully now, okay? I'm asking you respectfully to subscribe to the NFL on NBC YouTube channel. You'll get the latest Roto World fantasy news headlines, all sorts of great shows, including my own fantasy football happy hour. So go subscribe now. Again, I'm asking respectfully.